Hello, creatures! Today is Monday, and that means that it is the official start to my July Camp NaNoWriMo editing, falling in love with writing event. If you haven't seen my intro video that covered, like, my goals, and also I vlogged a little bit for the first weekend of July, I will link that above. In short, my goal for writing in July is to fall in love with writing again, and that's not really quantifiable. So what I have decided to do is I have decided to give myself a time goal of 45 minutes a day, but spread out throughout the span of the whole month. So it ends up being 1,395 words. And the goal is to really sit down during like this amount of time throughout the month and exercise my creative muscles by doing creative projects for fun. Things that I'm in the mood to do, things that I want to do, but also things that produce creative work or produce words. And I really think that that's going to help me get the ball rolling and get motivated to continue writing. I have been really feeling like writing has been a lot of work lately. Everything is like, I have to spend time to do this, I have to outline that. It's a lot of effort that I have to put in that usually when I'm going about my day it's really hard to just say you know like I have an hour that's free what if I make myself a drink and sit down and write for like half an hour in between things because of the amount of work my project was like feeling like every time I thought about it I thought that's not enough time to get my thoughts in order every few weeks or every even month even I would take some time and I would sit down and I'd be like okay here's where I am here's where I want to go I'm gonna outline a little bit I'm gonna plan a little bit so that I can just sit down and write and I did that a few times in a row without it really working out for me. So the new goal for my progress in writing and to continue forward is to step back from that project. I don't like the thought of that because I was really attached to the world and I was really attached to the characters and I was really committed to finishing. But um, what's best for the book and what's best for my writing habits right now is if I step back from that project entirely and I start something new. Now this something new might be a series of short stories throughout the month, I might just be meeting characters, I might just be writing loose scenes, and then I might revisit my book at the beginning of August and keep writing again, or there's a chance that I'll find a new novel idea. But in order to move forward and develop, I need to really feed the creative fire. I really like how Kate Kavanaugh, she's one of my favorite author tubers, she talks about how like your writing is a muscle. You have to exercise the ability to like develop ideas or to sit at your desk for a long period of time and to write and it's all about like persistence and practice and habits. So I am stepping back and I am like working out that muscle and I am treating the health of my writing habits over the amount of words or the project that I'm working on and I'm hoping that that does a lot to really get me going. So I made a little bit of a brainstorming list of things that I could do at random and the reason I made a list is so that if I have a day and I'm like I have an hour I can just pick something off of the list if I can't think of anything or if I'm not feeling creative. Things like creating writing prompts or character cards or scene cards or writing certain ways or writing experiments and stuff like that. I made a little list and the idea is that I want to be creating something tangible each time. So in some areas there's a little bit of a gray area like if I am plotting and planning a piece of writing I would count that in my time but if I'm like plotting or planning my day-to-day -day and including my like writing habits I don't want to include that. I'm trying to strictly count things that result in a creative product. Even if that creative product is just an idea I want to use this time to make things is the goal. And I would hope that if you're interested in doing something similar or even just following my journey throughout the month as I try to fall in love with writing again, that you would hit the subscribe button and get notifications for whenever I post new videos. I have started um, out with a master class and I ended up picking Neil Gaiman's. I made a list of four master classes that I am very interested in taking. There are a lot of writing master classes and they're all pretty, pretty exciting, but I really narrowed it down to four that I was enthused about. So I started with Neil Gaiman's and I haven't really made it too far because this is like my first day really, but I have watched the videos for like the intro and um, the first whole lesson and half of the second lesson and I don't really think that I can really talk about the things that he talks about are the things that are in the workbook because it is a paid course, but I will say that I'm really enjoying the workbook and I will probably mention um, throughout my vlogs or at least throughout this vlog the kinds of things that he addresses 
for people who are interested in buying the course. So the intro was really just like the advertisement for the video, like we always see them um, in between like YouTube videos, like they pop up. So I think a lot of the intro video people are familiar with from those smaller clips. But the first two chapters, the first one is about um, the truth that is in fiction, and the second one is about um, finding sources of inspiration. And just the way he talks is really motivating, and I find that it really fits where I am right now. So I'm really excited to continue with the course. I haven't read the workbook yet, and I haven't done the assignments for the first two sections yet because it's still pretty early on in the day. But I just found myself throughout the videos being really surprised about the value that I felt like I was getting from it and I know everyone's going to be in a different position in their writing life. So I feel like I am really going to develop personally from taking this course and it also has given me like a little bit of excitement to try other writers courses. Like just because Margaret Atwood's course particularly wasn't for me that doesn't mean that maybe I don't know, 10 of the 15 other courses might be absolutely magical. So for today's plan, I'm probably going to like read through those workbook sections. I'm going to finish that class that I'm halfway through, and then I'm probably just going to do some of the writing activities. I'm probably going to try to jump into some writing sprints, little things like that, ways to, to sit down and to ask the motivation to come to me. Like instead of just going about my life and being really busy and saying, you know, like I'm going to wait for the mood to hit me, I want to sit down and create the mood. You don't even know me like that. Are you best for time? Happy Thursday. Just like always, I have not done as much as I've wanted to. I'm not super behind. I'm about two hours and 20 minutes behind, which isn't pretty bad. And I expect like that little bit of behind to happen frequently throughout the month because I picked this goal knowing that I was gonna have days where I didn't write and I just want to like counterbalance that with days that I write for several hours or you know like a writing experiment that might take all day stuff like that. I'm hoping that it doesn't get to be more than just a couple hours behind and that it also doesn't last for more than a few days but to be entirely honest like the point of this project was to create a lifestyle where I can incorporate writing but it's also sustainable and one of the ways that I'm working on doing that in the beginning of the month here is by really focusing on my work schedule. I work from home now, it's something that's new to me, it's taken me quite a deal of time just to get used to working from home and making sure that I'm doing the right amount of work each week. But now I'm, I'm working on like condensing a work day and separating my work day from my free time. I frequently just do little bits of the work throughout the day. Like I'll edit a chapter and then I'll clean something and then I'll edit a chapter and then I'll film a video and then I'll edit a chapter, stuff like that. When I really should just be blocking out large chunks of time and, and editing. And I'm trying to get to that point and I think it's going to take a while for me to get there. But my priorities when it comes to like my writing project, it's basically like editing, writing, YouTube. So that being said, there are going to be days where I have to sacrifice my writing time to get work done. And I think this is really important because I have been in the last few weeks staying up really late to finish projects. And when I say staying up very late, I really do mean like three in the morning. Like my normal bedtime is around one. So if I'm staying up that late, it actually really hurts my sleep schedule, which affects my stress levels the next day and then I'm crunching to get stuff done and then I'm tired and I'm grumpy and then I don't have time for writing then either when I can just push a little bit harder proactively the day before, sacrifice my writing time and get a lot more done and maybe like reset the next day and have a better schedule with more separation. And I don't really know what that's going to look like or how that's going to play out over the next couple weeks, but it really just seems like if I had like dedicated work hours and dedicated personal hours, it would feel like almost nothing to spend a little bit of my personal time doing some creative writing and writing tasks. But when it comes to what I am doing, I have been continuing with Neil Gaiman's masterclass and I'm still loving it. I'm still learning a lot. I am just going through the lessons in the workbook and I'm doing the exercises. I am skipping some with the intention to come back to them. Like he has a couple exercises that are like for your novel or for your work in progress where you're supposed to be evaluating some of your own work and because I'm like using this to create my own work, um, I, I really want to like write something separate like not thinking about the class and then really evaluate my separate writing based on like the prompts or like the exercises he's given. So I've highlighted those to come back to, but I've also been trying to jump into a lot of live streams. Just enjoy the company, get motivated by what other people are doing. I would like to maybe start brainstorming soon some ideas of like writing experiments I can do. Looking at my work schedule, I'm probably not going to be able to do any 
exciting writing experiments next week unless I can maybe utilize Friday for something. But um, maybe the, the beginning of the third week of July, I, I have a little bit of free time if I can get everything caught up at work. But I'm going to be brainstorming some shorter writing experiments. I'm thinking something I can do in like a day. So if you have any ideas for some fun short-term writing experiments, whether it's fonts or methods or prompts or whatever, leave them in the comments below. I'm also going to ask over on Instagram so I can spend a little bit of time like collecting ideas or suggestions or something like that before I consider doing one. But overall, I have been really enjoying what I have been doing, the master class and the jumping in live streams, getting motivated by everyone else's project. But I have to admit, it feels kind of weird not to have a project. And I don't know that I like it, but I mean, that was the goal. The goal is to be a little bit more lenient with myself. But at the beginning of the month, whenever I was planning or like fantasizing, I guess, about how this month would go, I was like working on like scenes or I was working on short stories and stuff like that. And I think maybe that's what I'm missing. I have been using like the master class courses and writing prompts to like wiggle them into places where I feel like I have limited time because there are normally things that you can do pretty quickly. But I think it would do wonders to just find some time to sit and to write or maybe even if I brainstorm like short story ideas and I committed to something small instead of committing to something larger like a novel or a novella. So I'm going to also be thinking about that over the next few days and I will check in with you guys soon to see if I come up with a good idea for either a writing experiment or my next project or even just something to feel a little bit more satisfying, you know? Put you on my mind. Come a little closer like that Staying up all night, throwing drinks back. Happy Friday. I have worked myself up to only being about an hour and a half behind. I think at the beginning of this week I was a little over two hours behind, something like that. But I have worked myself up to being only an hour and a half behind, which is better. Um, I am definitely finding that, just as I predicted, like, I either don't write at all or I have long periods of writing. I have been feeling a little bit off this week. I've just been really, like, crushed with work and I've also just been, for some reason, super exhausted all the time. So I have a lot of days where all of the writing I got done was, like, 15 minutes or 20 minutes. I did make it a few more classes into... Neil Gaiman's Masterclass. The classes I don't think I mentioned yet, like the topics are Finding Your Voice, which that was a really good class I really enjoyed. That specific one helped me a lot. And then Developing Your Story. And then he even does like a breakdown where he breaks down like one of his books and stuff and, and he uses what he talks about to, to show you what he means in action, which I really like. And next is short stories or short fiction, I think it's called, something like that. Um, I'm very excited to move on to that because I'm really torn between what I want to do next because I'm getting to that point where I feel like I'm not really doing a project and I'm not and it's weird and I like the the goal was to not do a project but um, I think I, I'm missing that like ability to share like this is where I am in my work in progress because that's how most people talk in the community they're like oh I added 5,000 words oh I sat down and I did this and I just think I want to have something that I start and I finish and it's a goal and I did make that brainstorming list at the beginning of the month for this reason so I can sit down and revisit it and say, okay, what kind of thing can I start and I finish? So I'm going back and forth between like, should I write some short stories? Should I get a writing prompt? I actually found a, a writing prompt that I really like. It's a picture prompt. And I just really like the picture that was used in the prompt and it's something along the lines of, um, I should have written it down before I started recording because I record on my phone and I saved it on my phone. But it's something along the lines of like a good Samaritan helps a creature and then later finds out that that creature is actually like an otherworldly creation or an otherworldly being. And now they have this weird friendship sort of going on where the otherworldly being like helps and supports the person who helped them even when they weren't like in their normal form. So it was just really interesting. I sort of paraphrased it in a, in a clunky kind of way, but when I read it and I looked at the pictures, I was inspired to write, which is what this month is about. So I did do some writing on that this week and I really liked that and it was a lot of fun. And I've even had some ideas of how I can actually make that story and that concept better. So I'm planning on revisiting it and rewriting that, but I'm also sort of getting to the point where I really wanna start brainstorming for my next project that's an actual project. I have 
have for a while been wanting to write an anthology, a short story anthology, and I actually want to very seriously do it for publication. So I mean, like technically, a short story anthology, I could just write a short story here and there until I have enough to publish, but I actually want to like do a good job of it. So I've been thinking about that a lot lately, I think because I thought of that a lot off and on as I was really making the decision to shelf my current work in progress. But if I were going to take on the scope of an anthology, I actually want to do it like professionally with publication in mind. And I'm not saying that I'm really going to bust butt and get it done super quickly, but I am saying that I want to have like a game plan. Like I want to know how many stories do I want to write? How long do I want them to be? And I want to pick the overarching like theme. Like anthologies always have something that connects all the stories and sometimes it's a genre and sometimes it's an idea and sometimes it's a character or a world and I want to sort of sort that all out beforehand because I don't want to just write aimlessly and then like group it together at the end like even if I don't plot my writing I want to plot some of those more general points that will go throughout all the stories but I really just I don't know if I want to just do that and I want to stick with that or if I want to find another novel idea, I'm not sure, but I'm getting to the point now where I'm getting excited to start something else and I'm excited of the idea of writing and going towards something. Some of the stuff that I'm writing now, it feels like it's going into the void. Like the writing prompt that I did, like I had a really good time writing it and I'm having some ideas of how to make it better, which is like good editing practice. And then as I like rewrite it, I'm developing it. That's also good editing practice. It's all very beneficial. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm still going to keep it and stuff. But um, I, I don't get the same sense of satisfaction. And I think it's because I don't have um, anything long term. Like I'm, I don't have anything that I feel like other people will be able to see a difference in. People with books are like, wow, I had 20,000 words and now I had 50,000 words. And you can really see like that big of a difference. And with this project I'm doing this month, the Falling in Love with Writing, I have been doing a lot of things that are fun, like the classes and the assignments. And, you know, I, I can't share a whole lot about the assignments because you have to pay for the class. But I, I did give like the general topics of the things that I'm working on. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just because I can't share a lot of my individual assignments I've worked on. I feel almost like a slacker. I, I'm doing pretty well. And, you know, like just even saying like I did that writing prompt and I finished it and, I, and I'm going back in and I'm like developmentally editing it and I'm adjusting it. Even that feels better than, oh, I just did that one class and I did the homework for the class even though the homework took me like an hour or whatever. Um, it's just not something I can share in as much detail. So I have just been considering my next project a lot, I think, because it's something that I would be able to share in detail. So maybe I'll take a step back and look at my brainstorming list again and really see like what kinds of things that I put on the list, and that's why I made it, because I knew I would hit this point. What kinds of things can I put in the list that have a start and it ends and you know where can I go with that can I use them can I share them can I maybe practice getting beta reader feedback or something like that so I am jumping on real quick before I go to work to share with you guys some exciting news. It is such a small thing on paper, but such a big opportunity for my career and moving forward in editing and in Japanese. So officially, as of yesterday, I was brought on as part of a small part, but still part of Yen Press's editorial team. I don't think I'm going to have like a steady amount of work yet. This isn't like a 10 hour week or 20 hour week job, but I will get like projects and then the projects have deadlines and then they do pay by the hour and they pay very well. If you're not familiar with Yen Press, they are an American company that produces Japanese novels and Japanese manga and I am just like so excited like I can't even put into words how excited I am for this opportunity because my original career plan was to go into translating and I knew from the beginning that I would want to translate written content I'm not good at the interpreting side of it the speaking in front of people or in front of large crowds and being put on the spot it really makes me uncomfortable I, I can't handle that very well at all so I've always wanted to do written media I always said like working at Nintendo or PlayStation would be my dream job and it would take like 10 to 15 years of translating experience and an N1 certification which is like a really hard test to pass to get there so my like order of like my top four um, Japanese companies that I wanted to work for for translating one day was like Nintendo and, and 
PlayStation were up at the top. And then right under that is Viz Media, which is the number one producer of manga in the United States. And then below that is Yen Press. And Yen Press does manga, but they have a concentration in light novels, which I love because I love novels and I love fantasy and I love fiction. But this is still just such an amazing opportunity because I'm editing and I'm going to be editing fiction and I'm going to be editing fantasy and I'm going to be editing novels and manga and I'm going to be working with a company who not only works with Japanese media but Yen Press is owned by a bigger Japanese company so it opens a lot of doors for me just to put this on my resume and I, I'm just so excited but as far as writing goes for Camp NaNoWriMo and my project I do work 2 to 10 30 today at Starbucks so I'm probably not going to be getting a lot of like writing or drafting done. I do plan on watching the next course in Neil Gaiman's masterclass that I've been working on, but I'm not counting time that I've like watched things. I'm only counting time that I'm like putting into the creative process of planning or writing or drafting and stuff like that. So I don't really know if I will get any actual writing done today, but I did have a pretty productive day yesterday, mildly productive day yesterday, and I do plan on carving out a few hours to work tomorrow. So I think that'll work out just fine.